Then what I will do is apply a thin layer of base coat to all these nails, fully cure that in the lamp. Now we're going to be using the Extends gel system today. They are full gel tips and we'll be applying those to the nail. Now I do have videos on this so I will link them in the card above at the end of the video so if that's something you want to see I'll pop that up for you so here I am showing you the clear gel we're going to be using in this extend system so first of all I'm going to be putting a thin layer in the well of that and then a small bead and then I will apply it to the cuticle area to 45 degree angle and then bring that down slowly and then use my LED torch just to fix that into place. Do exactly the same on the pointer. So these are all pre-measured, I've done all of that. So I'm applying a thin layer and a small bead 45 degree angle at the cuticle area, push that down, watch the gel move up that nail, make sure there's no air bubbles and then LED flash that nail on. Now it did come with a torch and everything uh, but this LED little torch sits on my desk anyway so it's just as easy to use that to be honest. Guys, once I've done all four nails, that'll go in the lamp and I will fully cure that. Then I'm going to go around with my e-file and my sand band, just around those edges. I want to make sure they're nice. And thin, so that when they grow out, she's not going to end up with a ledge. I'll refine the free edge. They're already shaped, but I just, I want to refine the shape. So I'll do that. I will do it on all the nails. I'm just going to show you these two. We've got a lot to get through today. So most of the things are going to be on these two nails. Now I have done two hands. The other hand is done. And she decided to do blue and purple on one and orange and yellow on another as the background and then paint the design across. However, on the little finger and the thumb on both nails, we've done a bit of sugaring. So one coat of black polish, fully cured in the lamp, going with our second coat of black gel polish. And then gonna come in with Stargazer from Kylie Weary. And I'm gonna sugar that glitter into that well wet gel polish. Then guys, I'm gonna pop that into the lamp and give that a double cure. These are the two colors we're gonna be using today. So I'm gonna come in with this lovely purple at the top. So the little finger and thumbs are all done. Glitters everywhere as per usual, it is me doing this. So I've just covered it up with a, with a towel so we can work nicely and then I'm going to come in with the blue at the bottom then using a ombre brush very gently I'm going to tap 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 these two colours to ombre them together so I'll go from the top to the bottom and then wipe my brush and then go bottom to top I've done this on a couple of sets of late so I'll just ombre those together Fully cure it in the lamp and then give it a second layer. Checking those sides, making sure we don't lose that shape during all this gel polish. So again, purple at the top, blue at the bottom. As always guys, I am going to list everything 
below what we've used today so tap 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 really really gently guys if you did this too heavy handed you would move the gel off the nail what you actually want to do is blend them together so move the gel into each other not away from the nail so once I'm happy with that I'm going to do that on all three nails exactly the same fully curing them lamp give it a matte top coat so we can go in with our artwork so the first thing I'm going to do is come in and do the bottom of the nail a little bit of black grass just to start this Halloween set off so I'll do that on all three then I'll flash cure it for 10 seconds in the lamp So I'm going to start on the ring finger and here in the middle of the nail I'm going to do a tree. So I'm going to map out that trunk very lightly using my detailer brush. Then fill that in. And then I'll start to branch that out. So I'll start thicker and as I move towards the outside of the nail I make my lines thinner and then put little V's everywhere. I found it easier to work on the nail facing me so I could do my wiggly tree lines. When I finish this and I'm happy, I'm gonna put it in the lamp and I'm gonna fully cure that. Next, in and around that tree, I'm going to put some little bat shapes, just really mini ones, about three or four. Nothing too extravagant, just a few. Full cure, and then that's that nail done. Then we can move on to the middle nail. Now here, I'm just going to do bats. So I'm going to do one really big one. And I'm going to do them different flights, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do my little head in the middle with the little tiny ears. And I'm going to do some with the wings in a U shape. And then some as though they're flying right towards you. And they'll be the smaller ones to match in with the other small back shapes that I've done. So again, I've turned the hand around. I just find it easier to do it that way. And then a flash cure in between. I don't want to knock it, put my hand in it, anything stupid like that, or I would do. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that it's all nice and flash cured in between each one. She keeps popping it in and out the lamp. Because I'm happy with that, flash cure it before I move on. And then if I'm not happy with any aspect of the next bit, I can just take it off. Okay, so we're into the final nail. Like always with the middle nail, once I'm happy and we are finished, it's going to get a full 60 seconds. Then I can move on to this last nail. So I've got the white gel paint. I'm using blackjack gel paint from CJP and snowdrops from CJP. And I'm going to do a moon. Now because this, this is so pigmented and there's quite a lot in this one space, I am going to get it to fully cure that in the lamp before using my little sponge here. And then I'm just going to mist off that nail with a dab of gel paint. It all adds to that spookiness that is Halloween. So on one side I've got the gel paint in the sponge and on the other side I take it off. So I'll put it on on one side, I'll turn it around and I'll take it off with the other. Then I will cure that in the lamp. And now here we're going to do a little cat. Now last year for Halloween I did a collab and I did a spooky cat in this one. So we did a cat on this one and we did a scarecrow on the other hand. There is a clip of everything at the end of the video but guys I just videoed this one hand. As everything we did on this hand we did on the other hand. The only difference is the shapes and the colour really. She wanted orange and yellow 
on the first hand and we did a graveyard a tree that comes from the side of the nail uh, and we did a scarecrow and then on this one we've done the full tree the bats and the little spooky cat so i'm filling in that with black gel paint making sure i've got nice big pointy ears and the hair from the cat is straying like it's just been frightened and i'm going to turn it around and do its tail to the side of that then i will put it in the lamp and give it a full cure before coming in with a thermochromic liquid from Nair Nails, this is the star of the show. I saw Kirsty Meekin do this and I ordered the gel polish, but I've never got to use it. I've got a couple of them, so I'm thinking about doing another one as well. So guys, I'm going to put that all over and the thermochromic liquid will disguise the image underneath with black gel polish and it disappears and reappears depending on the heat of the hand. It's awesome. So when it's hot, here it is. When it's hot, uh, you can see the design underneath, but when it's cold, it just looks like black gel polish. As always, there is a clip at the end to show it you in full. I will give it one coat of this beautiful gel polish. Fully cure it before coming in with the top coat guys we are coming towards the end of our video today i really do hope you've enjoyed our little nail play if you have would you mind taking a moment and hitting that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already i would absolutely love it if you would please feel free to like and share with all your friends on your social media platforms and please tag me and i love to see that here we are with the top coat guys it's going to be the big reveal in a minute. We had to get bowls of water to uh, to activate it. But I just took pictures for you. So you could see it both. Guys, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you so much for watching today. Please stay safe. And until next time. Bye.